You just look stunning. Oh, Thank you. Outfit. So do you. Thank Ooh. you. I had to wear pink for you. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Can, I, yeah. can I see your tattoo? Oh, oh yeah, it's a Mockingjay, actually. Oh, oh from shit. Hunger Games. That's cool. Thank you so much. A Mockingjay, a little Ooh, film platform. Your tattoo's great. Good oh, mind. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Ready to go? Lindsay and Aisha, nice to meet you and congratulations nice on this you. film. Thank you. Ireland, romance, you in a starring role, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yes, I absolutely loved it. In the film, your character, Maddie, she's afraid to speak her feelings because of obviously it makes her nervous and very vulnerable. You've been in this industry for so long. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there was like a turning point in your career where you became more comfortable and open in regards to projects and everything. I think I've always been like that. <laughs> it just scares people when I was younger I think because I think it's I've always you know my mom raised me to always have my voice and not be afraid to use it and and no more than yes and um, I think that's important so I related to Maddie in that way um, but I think definitely now after becoming a mom I feel I have that other burst of confidence as well. I love that. Congra congratulations. Thank you. you. That's amazing. Your character Heather is everyone's best friend. I yes. love she's trying to get people together for girls night. Yes. What is your ultimate girls night? Something inside of the house. Yes. I, I, I am not an outside girl. I love to like be at home, relaxing, PJs, some wine, all the cheese. Like just keep it simple. Face mask, wine, Absolutely. cheese. Absolutely. Yes. Lindsay, are you the same? Are you more inside? I'm a homebody. Homebody. Yeah. 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 What do you do for girls' nights? Home, chill. <laughs> Movies sometimes put music. I mean, it depends. We did a lot of that together. Yeah. I mean, we do, yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, what was your favorite things that you did in Ireland in between filming some of the scenes? Aside from Newgrange, when we hung Ooh, at the house, oh, I think. Newgrange yeah. was amazing. We watched yeah, it was a beautiful, lot so of, like, alien conspiracy. Yes, <laughs> Uh, more than we probably want to talk about. Oh, it was a good time. <laughs> oh my God, love that. Well, we, we Kill Rudry was great. Uh, Wicklow was great. Oh, we had so beautiful gorgeous. locations. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, of course I love Mean Girls and Freaky Friday, but one of my favorite little cameos that you've done was in the movie The Holiday when you do the fake. Oh, for Nancy Myers. Yes, yeah. when you do the fake movie trailer. So I'm curious, do you remember that call from Nancy Myers when she was asking you to be a part of that film? Yeah, I remember that. And she was like, it's not, you're not, in the movie, but you're in the movie. <laughs> and for Nancy, I will never say no. Um, she's family, and she's an incredible director. And, and also, it's just such a great movie. I love Kate Winslet. I love Cameron. And um, so to be a part of it was fun. And then I was like, Nancy, why don't you write that movie? <laughs> yeah. the, the trailer is in the movie. There's comments on YouTube being like, this needs to be a real it movie. It looked like it'd be a great movie. Deception. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? The fake movie trailer in the holiday that Lindsay does. It's, it's so the one funny. Cameron Diaz is cutting a trailer, and it's me and James Franco. Oh it's like, my I'm like gosh. the president's daughter. Yes, and, yes, yes. And it was such a quick shoot, but it was really fun. Yes. Because things were blowing up, and it was a really cool... That is on the so Sony cool. lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, last question for the two of you. After filming this movie, and I know you just wrapped the third Netflix film, I think, in, yeah. in Atlanta, right? Yeah. So, like, what is there anything about, like, these char characters that kind of, like, stick with you? Something that you've learned about them? Um, I think... I think I relate to all these characters that I play in rom-coms. I think every girl can relate to these characters, which is why I choose to play them. Because mm -hmm. there's something um, in Maddie or my character Avery, who I just wrapped on, um, that you can relate to and take from that. Yeah. But I think with Maddie, it's more uh, believe in yourself and don't be afraid to use your voice. I love that. And what about for Heather? Oh yeah, my Heather. gosh, I, I mm -hmm. think people can relate in the fact that she kind of is like the peacekeeper and the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, and I feel like everybody always has that one friend in their group that kind of keeps things together and keeps the heads on straight. So Yes, I was totally yeah. here for their friendship. I loved it. And I can't wait for <laughs> yeah. audiences to see the film. They are wrapping me. Congratulations Thank again. Thank you. you. And I'm still waiting for the Freaky Friday revival with you and Jamie Lee We're Curtis. working on it. I know you guys are working on it. You've <laughs> talked are. about it. But I'm here for it when you decide to do it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ladies, so much, and Thank congratulations you. on everything. Ed, so nice to meet you. Love to meet you. Congratulations on this film. Romance, Ireland, you and Lindsay Lohan in a romance. I'm down for this. Great. Yes. What did you and Lindsay do to develop the chemistry before, uh, between your characters prior to filming and on set? Because I loved the, the chemistry between your characters. A lot of fighting. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of physical fighting. <laughs> no, I, we, I, I don't know. I, I guess we, we didn't. We just got on, even from day one in rehearsals, there, mm -hmm. we, there was just a, there was a rapport, there was a camaraderie that struck up very quickly. Yeah. I think it comes, I, for me, it comes about from 
working with people that you can you can trust or you or you also recognize which I did with Lindsay that someone who is very dedicated to what they're trying to do very uh, uh, yeah. sort of enthusiastic about the work very sort of you know very very takes it all very passionately yeah. and I think for me seeing that inherently allows you to sort of trust and respect one another and and you hope that then the chemistry will just sort of like a like go on it's like a little journey naturally happen yeah. well one of my favorite scenes in the film is in the Irish pub mm. when the two of you are dancing oh, and and yes yeah. yeah it kind of reminded it was reminiscent of Titanic to me with Jack and Rose did someone else say that someone else did say that really yeah I mean that's that's a big shout out there yeah, yeah well yeah. that and also your character says like oh I don't have a house at the moment or I don't have a place at mm -hmm. the moment so mm -hmm. I was like very j reminiscent of Jack as well mm -hmm. but take me back to filming that scene did the two of you rehearse dancing because it just seemed like a really fun day on set well I mean Lindsay is I think she's I'm pretty sure she's a triple threat I think she does the singing dancing yes. the whole the whole the whole shebang <laughs> I uh, like to dance mm -hmm. but not professionally trained in any way yeah. I felt that yeah I mean, we we actually didn't get that much time to rehearse it right. we got like a little bit of a window mm -hmm. but we had a great team we had a great dance choreographer who also had this whole team of sort of traditional Irish dancers who came in uh, and we, yeah, we, it was it was exactly that it was just having fun I think that was the main thing is to sort of throw yourself into the situation uh, mm -hmm. You know, you're in an Irish pub. Guinness is flowing. Yep, absolutely. Music's on. Let's just let's just go for it. What is your drink of choice? Because I know he drinks Guinness in the in the yeah. film. Do you have a drink of choice? Yeah, I mean, I, I I was actually having a little break from the old drinky, but I do like I do like a Guinness. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna take a break every now and again. I think so, like a yeah. little reset. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I do it too. Well, yeah. you are in some of my favorite series of all time: Outlander, okay. Downton Abbey, oh, wow. and you. And I'm curious, when you are doing, uh, when you're approaching a character for a series versus a film, is the approach the same? Because it is different. You mm. have more of a character arc over multiple episodes of TV sure. than a film. So is it different for you as an actor? I, I don't feel, feel that the appro approach is necessarily different in terms of what your end game is, right. basically. But I feel that, you know, for me, I don't, I think that... Everything is circumstantial, mm -hmm. and I think I have to explore characters for different in, in different ways. You know, playing yeah. James in this rom com, I definitely <laughs> had to approach it certainly slightly differently to what I was doing for for Reese and you, you. You know, he was yes. a lot more of an intense role. Yes. Uh, I had to dig a lot deeper uh, mentally and emotionally. I felt for for James, it was it was about just sitting back and actually maybe finding somebody that's not a million miles away from me potentially mm -hmm. that is. But you have to get, the thing about rom-coms, which I did notice, is you have to sort of get to an end result within a scene very, very quickly. A lot quicker than some of those TV things where you have drawn out scenes and there's a lot of dialogue and there's a lot of nuance. Here you have to get to a very quick result, yeah. um, which is a different way of working, definitely. Interesting. What is a genre that you haven't acted in yet that you're like dying to do next? Yeah, I suppose, I'm interesting. I mean, what I would love to do, and it's not about, I would love, <laughs> I mean, I, I like all, I do genuinely like all genres, but I would love to lead my own show where, you know, and I've always had a thing about spies and espionage and action. I feel like that would be a world that I would really enjoy. I can 100% see you leading a series about espionage, yeah. thrilling, and spies. Yeah. With 007. I mean, like a would, 007 film. That would, be, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? You know, yeah, yes. That would be lovely. Let's put that out there let's in the put universe. It out, let's keep putting it out there. Let's put it out there in the universe. Well, Ed, they are wrapping me. Congratulations so to quick, you isn't on it? this film. It is so quick. Junket World is so quick. But yes, I would sit here and chat with you all day. But congratulations to you. I'm so excited for audiences to see your performance good. in this. I love a good romance, and you did phenomenal. Well, thank so. you very much.